Good evening, folks. Thanks for clicking in, scrolling in, sliding in. Dude, I said this before. It's been a while, but a few months ago, I got on a, a rant of illegals coming in, about, about illegals coming in. I was like, hey, lefties, seems like, you know, everything's all hunky-dory. You know, you know, everybody should be included. Everybody gets a chance. Everybody gets a turn. Whether you work for it or not, just come on in. And I said, it's all fun until they actually strike up the motion to where they're going to come live with you. And uh, this is what they're doing in New York. Eric Adams. The video. Now, the video. Just watch the video real quick. Check it out. Watch this. Okay. And then, then we'll talk about it after that. Okay. Hang, hang tight. We're disciplined and we're executing on it. It is my vision uh, to take the next step to this, to go to the faith base. Uh, locales and then move to uh, private residents. Uh, there are residents who are suffering right now because of economic challenges. They have spare rooms, uh, they have locales, and if we can find a way to get over the 30 day rule and other rules that government has in, in its place, we can take that $4.2 billion, $4.3 it may be now, that we potentially have to spend, and we can put it back in the pockets of everyday New Yorkers, everyday houses of worship, instead of putting it in the pockets of corporations. And some of those corporations come from outside our city. We should so in that video, you hear him talk about putting money in the pockets of New Yorkians instead of it going out the window. It could have went to the pockets of New Yorkians from the get-go, but apparently you got to, you got to uh, when they dangle the carrot, you've got to run for it. So in other words, what they're saying is like if you house these people, they'll pay you. So okay, where does the money come from? That comes from the tax base. Where does the tax base come from? From the people paying it. So if they pay you money to house the people, then you just really didn't like make any money. Because it's just not going to be that way. There's just no way it's going to be sustainable. You ain't going to have these crazy people moved in your place and everybody's going to be okay and you're going to just coexist. Because uh, they aren't really bringing in the best of the best. They're kind of bringing in some of the weird of the weirds. But anyways, that this is the pipe. And we, uh, Brandon Johnson in Chicago is catch a lot of flack. Nobody wants this. There's nobody in the community that wants this. Now, what happens is if you resist this, if they say, hey, we're going to suggest you do this, well, guess what? Watch and see if people don't like get them forced on them. It's either you pay and take the people or you just take the people. Or better yet, we'll just figure out ways to get you out from where you're at and we'll put these people in place of you. Does that sound like the next big move? Thank you for clicking in. Let me know what you say. You think in the comment sections. I'm we, we, at, glad to Hear what you have to say about it. Have a good afternoon. And by the way, another weird thing. Did you know that that plane that was intercepted was had a, a, the whole family of a donor that donated a lot of money to Donald Trump's um, uh, campaign and other things? And, and, his, and, the, and this, the wife or the grandpa, the wife was a member, a high ranking member of the NRNA or M NRNA. <laughs> NRA. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's weird. They say that the people were passed out and they had to intercept the jet, but I guess we'll just have to take their word for it. I don't know. So, Sonic Boom caught, that shook the ground. We're going to have to dig into that rabbit hole and some more information comes out because that's just strange. Peace out.